you are not alone. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Sermon in 7, your daily dose of inspiration and the place where we prove beyond the shadow of a doubt that it's possible to receive a mighty word from God in a short period of time. I'm your host, Pastor Tim. Listen, last Sunday, there was a powerful Sunday school lesson on the Holy Spirit and the role that he plays in our life. And you probably have heard me say this before. I don't think that there's enough things that are being taught about the Holy Spirit and his role in our lives. The Apostle John left us some powerful words that the Lord said right before he left his disciples. Go get your Bible. Come with me to John chapter number 14. We're going to take a look at a couple of verses in that chapter. Let's go there now. And the word of God says this, all this I've spoken while still with you, but the advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things and will remind you of everything I have said to you. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. Now, in this particular passage of scripture, the Lord is providing some words of comfort to his disciples because he's getting ready to leave. And when you think about it, it makes perfect sense. Jesus had told them on more than one occasion that he was leaving them, not just that he was going to die and be crucified, but that he was leaving them. And in the minds of the apostles, since they were human, I could imagine they were thinking the kinds of thoughts that you and I would be thinking. They've been with him for three years. They've been learning all of these things from him. And the expectation is that when he's gone, that they're going to carry out this assignment that he's going to give them. So in their minds, they're probably thinking, well, what happens to us? You're leaving. <laughs> What's going to become of us now that you're gone? You've been the glue that has held us all together, and now you're leaving. This is why the Lord spoke to them in the way that he did, because he knew what their thoughts were. So the first thing that he told them was that he was not going to leave them comfortless, but that he was going to have the Father send someone that would be able to comfort them. Now, the Holy Spirit's role was twofold here that the Lord described. The first thing that he told them was this, that the Holy Spirit would guide them in all truth and remind them of the things that the Lord had talked about while he was with them. Now, this also makes perfect sense because I'm assuming the, the disciples were probably thinking, how are we ever going to remember all the things that you've told us? How are we ever going to remember, you know, the sayings and lessons that you've taught us while you were here? You're leaving. That's the role of the Holy Spirit. He was letting them know that when the Spirit comes, he'll remind you of all of the things that you've heard me teach you while I was with you. Now, I want to speak to our particular situation because we are not the disciples, but we're here and the Spirit of God plays the same role in the life of you and I. Think about it. There have been those times when you've been ministering to a person and it's always happened that you were able to recall the right passage of scripture in the right moment to share with someone who was in distress. That doesn't happen accidentally. That happens because the spirit of God that lives on the inside of you brings to your remembrance those passages of scripture that you need in a given moment, either for someone else or for yourself. But I have to tell you something here. The Holy Spirit cannot bring to your remembrance that which you have never put in your memory. In other words, if you're not spending time in the word of God, if you're not taking the time to memorize particular passages of scripture, there will be nothing for the Holy Spirit to draw on when you're going through something or when someone else is going through something. You have to take the time to put God's word in your memory and then rely on the spirit of God to recall those particular passages of scripture that you need in any given moment. That's the first point. The second point was this. The Lord said that he was giving them his peace. And then he got specific. He said, I'm not giving you peace in the way that the world gives it. My peace is different. 
Now, what is the peace that the world provides to you and I? The peace that the world provides to you and I is basically the absence of conflict. When there is no conflict going on, then we say there's peace. But when you think about it, conflict is an external thing. When there are no external things going on, the world says that we can have peace. However, from the Christian perspective, our conflict is not necessarily always external, but we do have internal conflicts as well. And in fact, it's also possible to have an internal conflict while you're also dealing with an external conflict. But the Lord said that he would give us his peace. And his peace says that whether the conflict is internal or whether the conflict is external, we have peace. We are in a state where we don't have to get worked up. We're in a state where we don't have to worry because there is a peace that comes from God that can let us be calm in the midst of any situation. You and I have access to this because of the spirit that lives on the inside of us. The world won't understand how we're able to hold our head up high, even though all hell is breaking loose around us. But other believers will know right away why you haven't lost your mind, why you haven't thrown in the towel. It is because of the spirit of God that lives on the inside that has given you that peace. The Lord told his disciples, I'm not going to leave you by yourself, but I'm going to send you another, the spirit of truth to abide with you forever. And the spirit was with them. The spirit is also with us. Take the time to recognize and realize the role that the spirit of God can and will play in your life if you give room for him to do so. Amen goes right there. Listen, everybody, I'm all out of time for this one, but you already know what to do. Go ahead and smash that like button, share this video with a friend, and leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought about what you've heard here on today. Now go ahead and have yourselves a wonderful day. Remember who you are. Remember who you belong to. And most importantly, never forget that this God that we serve, the same one who has sent us the comforter to give us the peace that passes all understanding, that God, he can do anything but fail. Join me for another episode of Sermon in 7. God bless you.